Hey everyone, so in this screencast I'm going to share how you can very easily create a question bank in Articulate Storyline. Um, so a question bank is just that, it's a bank of questions and from your story view you can see that there is a question bank uh, button on the home tab. So if you want to create a question bank uh, sorry, let me re re rewind a little bit. The reason why you would want to have a question bank is to easily organize um, question slides. Additionally, if you have questions that are in a question bank, you can do a draw from the question bank and um, shuffle the, the options and do a few different things. So to create a question bank, what you're going to do is from the story view, you will select question bank button. Then there will be a question bank one. There's nothing in it, um, but if you have multiple, so you can either select this uh, question bank one and um, add questions to that one, or you can create a question bank. So for the purpose of this screencast, I'm going to select question bank one, and you're going to see that there's no questions um, in the bank initially. So you can either choose to add a graded or a survey question or you can import questions um, that are already in the in the project. So if you say um, have your slides and you've added a question on like in between these two slides in between here, um, when you go to import you can choose questions that are already in the project but aren't in a bank. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to select graded and um, I'm going to choose, I don't know, let's just choose one of these multiple choices. And when you add a question to the question bank, it's just like adding a question slide. So you, you would go and set this up as you need to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, a handful of times. Cool, so now we have a bank, question bank one, of five questions. Now if we go back to the story view and you select question bank, you can also manage question banks. So if we click on this, we've got question bank one and here you can either duplicate the selected, uh, well you can create a new one, edit, um, duplicate, or rename and delete. So those are just some other options that you have for working with question banks. We're not going to change anything here. Now, when you want to add a new draw from a question bank, you're going to go to the slide before where you want the draw to appear. So I want it to appear at the end, but if you wanted it somewhere in the middle, you would just click the appropriate slide. So then once you selected the slide, you will go to question bank again and select new draw from question bank. Here you'll be able to choose which question bank you want to choose from, whether you want the questions to draw randomly, and whether you want to include all or just some of the, the questions. Uh, you also have the option to lock a question if you want it to appear in a, in a certain position. So say we wanted to have this question to lock. Um, we can lock it to the question above, to the question below, etc. Uh, we can also move the question up or down. So if we want to say move it down, you can do that. Cool. And then once you've chosen your parameters, so we're just going to do a random draw, uh, including all questions, you will press insert and you will see a draw from question bank. Now if you go over to your slide view, when you click on the draw from question bank, you'll get some options. So you can either click to view which question bank it is. Oh, it's question bank one. Cool. You'll see all the questions there. Um, or you can view the slide draw and it would show which slides were or which questions were drawn in that uh, draw. And that's how you create and add a question bank or a, and a draw from question um, to a project.